it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. In the bands, I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. Right out the gate, we start in this Jerry the King Lawler Forgotten Gems 4 Star Gold. I know you're wondering, Davy D, why are you starting it in this format? Where are the formalities? Currently, this recording is coming from the DMV. <laughs> Getting it in. But anyway, I have ran a multitude of builds, and this video has the three best builds for Jerry the King Lawler. Every other build, basically, I was almost dead or dead by the time the match is over. These three builds are the quickest. Starting first with Woods, Powerhouse Luke Harper, um, DX HBK. If I had Trickster Andre to help with the blue MP coach, that would have been perfect. But basically, um, with this build, you want the finisher and the mounted punch to start off as soon as possible. Uh, that's where Woods comes in with the purple MP. And then Luke Harper, who destroys 11 purple gems will recharge both moves. The mounted punch is an eight charge, the finish is a 12 charge. By the time it's his turn again, like both moves are literally filled. So they recycle great for basically like two turns. Then after that, you have to start from scratch because you have nothing to recycle the blue move. And that's where Trickster Andre would have come in to help. DX HBK to help, you know, if you make any purple matches. But as you can see right now, look at this. Both moves are filled up and good to go. Did a crap load of damage. Utter destructo. Took down half of his life. In the previous matches I've done, like, I've never gotten this far without being halfway in my life or almost dead. Went against Jeff Hardy because he is one of the easier opponents on Hell Mode to face with a four star gold. Did not think King was in the same league as the Undisputed Future. We're gonna choose six uh, color turn gems. I try to put them on colors that he will not choose. Right now I'm putting them over his multiply gems because I do not want him to hit me with his Dougie. These color turn gems come in great to creating potential cascades on my turn or to help me kick out if I am pinned. I ran a couple builds with AJ Styles. With AJ Styles I was choosing up to 10 color turn gems. I was getting ridiculous cascades, but nothing good enough to put away the opponent. I also ran builds with uh, double black, where you shuffle the board with one black move, as you can see the body slam. And then you make blue gems with the other black move, but again, difficulty putting away the opponents. This build, I started off this video with the build that did the most damage quickly, left me with the most life. So I, I recommend this build. I know there's a, a Jerry the King Lawler tour coming up in the third anniversary month long contest. So if you can run this build, I would advise it. Not sure if these moves unlock at three star or if they are exclusive to four star. Either way, God be with you. DX HBK in the clutch for that. Um, ooh, five match. You know I can't help myself when I see a five match, baby. Look at this cascade, man. Utter Destructo, and I don't think he's kicking out. I do not think he's kicking out. I don't think he shall. He wants to, but he shan't. You shan't, Jeffrey. All right, that's the best build. Second best build. That's why I call him Jerry the King, LOL, man. You always laughing. <laughs> okay, same build, but instead of Powerhouse Harper, we have Daniel Bryan, who makes 10 uh, green gems into purple. Out the gate. <clears throat> I was trying to put um, Jerry the King on Jerry the King. I was like, man, if he could only train himself, that would have been great. Get the blue move off. But... Alas, right now I have the gear which allows me to start with two more blue MP. So if you can get the Jerry the King Lawler gear from Showdown Shop or wherever they have it, I would advise that you start with two more blue MP. What am I do? Now he's gonna make it hurt, destroying blues and making multiplies and all that jazz. 
Now, when I get my turn with the blue move, every purple gem, sorry, every green gem on board will be purple. Hopefully I get potential matches to fill my finisher. And the beautiful thing about that is that with DX HBK, instead of a plus three MP, every purple match becomes a plus four MP. So right now I say I have a five match somewhere in the lower left middle-ish corner. That is gonna be great. Finishers right to go. Made a little baby cascade next turn. The um, choose color turn gems are ready to go and the finisher is ready to go. The finisher will not fill my moves. I repeat, it will not because I'm only destroying six purple gems. Whereby if Harper was destroying 11, in hindsight, I should have hit my choose color turn gems move first, but I did not, unfortunately. That was my bad. But it's ready to go next turn. And so is his finisher. Punchy, 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 punchy. Those are not regulation league sanctioned punches. Those are illegal punches. Why more people don't do that punch, man? Finishers wreck tag out. You're gonna hit me with his Dougie. The beautiful thing about the green into purple, I take away from all of Jeff's potentials green gems to destroy. As you can see, you only have three to destroy. Nice. Like I said, color turn gems help in a pin pinning predicament. Until I can kick out, they will always change color. Destroy six rando purple. Choose color turn gem move will be ready. Ret Saga. I know you're saying this match is taking long and King's taking a lot of damage. Bear in mind, the ah, sexy dodge. These builds I am showing you are the best I encountered whilst playing. It was, it was like pulling teeth. I was visibly frustrated playing with the King. Visibly frustrated trying to find a way to make him work. But there's something for everybody. If you have tricks to Andre, kudos to you. If you have Elias, Maybe my black build moves would have been better. My black move builds would have been better, sorry, but those are the breaks. No Elias, hopefully one day I get to Elias. Oh, Elias. Eli bye, bye, bye. Elias. Look at how much life I've lost. Look at how much life I've lost. Actually, let me verify since, um, my king is restored to normal. Let me see if I have the original build I can run it for his tour. That would be perfecto. Utter perfecto. While this is happening, I can give you some quick facts about the king. If my game would pull him up rash quick, rash quick. Rash quick, rash quick. The king is a chaotic trickster. Yes, actually, we do have that option for that move set at three stars. Good for us. Good for us. So right now I have my king at three stars silver. Um, I'll let you know what the moves look like, the damage. Right now the choose color turn gems instead of a choose six, it is a choose four. Instead of destroy six purple gems, I'm only destroying three purple gems with the finisher. Oh god, that took off a lot of life. And that was one of the better builds. Painful. LOL, Jedi the King, lol. Alright. Final build, tri tricolor. Um, Bray Weezy, Seth Rogen. DX HBK. So what you're gonna do is with the black move, you're gonna make 10 blue gems, which feeds the blue move that creates, uh, that converts green gems into purple gems. So it feeds the finisher. This is a three-way, a three-way street. There was actually, now I think about it, I don't think I included it in that. Well, I know I didn't include it in this video. I'll make it in another video. There was a build where he has a move. I believe it's either a, a blue move. Actually, let me just verify. 
Yes, he has a blue move that makes color turn gems. Sorry, make, makes silence gems into color turn gems. There's a match on the road against Razor Ramon where the whole board is filled with color turn gems. So I ran that build. I did blue, purple, uh, blue, 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 purple. The first blue move creates purple gems. And the second blue move and the purple move creates color turn gems. I ran that build with um, Woods and AJ Styles. So I was making that like 20 color turn gems on the board. Still didn't win the match, but you know, I almost had him beat. I probably released that video another time. But these are your best bets. You can see a lot of wash, rinse, and repeat for Jeff. Nothing much to write home about here. You better match that. Oh, we're making color turn jet. I see a match that if I don't make it, I'll be angry with myself. If I connect the blue, it breaks the green, and then it breaks the purple, and I did not make it. I did? Ooh, there was a five match. I'll allow it. I'll allow it, DVD. I'll allow it. So now the create green into purple is ready, as well as a finisher. Hopefully I'm smart enough to hit the finisher to feed my finisher. Come on, Jethro, relax. Relax, Jethro. Hit him with your Dougie, Davy D. Destroy six. Nice. Nice. Did a lot of damage. A lot. But let's see. There's no. There's like three greens on the board. None of them will give us matches. None whatsoever. We gotta make a manual match. He's gonna hit his finisher. Luckily for us, there's no green on board for him to destroy, so that worked out perfect in our favor. Kind of like a good defensive build against Jethro. And we're gonna hit our finisher after this. Hopefully that puts him down. Jerry the King Lawler Forgotten Gem. Absolutely no reason he should go beyond 5k talent for training. Unless you are a Jerry the King Lawler fan. In that case, do what makes you happy. I'm sure somebody out there is probably crazy enough to make him a beast with straps, but I won't. Adios muchachos y muchachas. Have a great day, good night, <laughs> and well, and good luck.